On the 25th of September 1996, the then mayor of Jerusalem, Ehud Olmut, surrounded by television cameras, announced a new opening to the Western Wall Tunnel in the Muslim quarter of Jerusalem. The sprawling 1,000-foot underground passage followed the base of the renowned Western Wall, which borders one of the holiest sites in the Islamic world, Al-Aqsa Mosque. Olmut, who would later serve as Israel's Prime Minister, told spectators that the new opening established a new feat for Israeli tourism and cemented the Jewish claim to the city to Palestinians who questioned it. Within hours, news of the tunnel spread and hundreds of Palestinians took to the streets to Jerusalem to protest. They were met with Israeli police firing rubber bullets in an attempt to prevent protesters from reaching the entrance of the tunnel. The Western Wall Tunnel riots lasted for four days. The clashes were primarily between Israeli forces and the newly established Palestinian National Security Forces, NSF, which had been created by the 1993 Oslo Accords as the armed forces for the Palestinian Authority. The riots spread from Jerusalem to cities and towns across the West Bank and Gaza, leaving 70 Palestinians and 16 Israelis dead. The opening of the exit in the Muslim quarter to the excavated tunnel complex was ordered by Benjamin Netanyahu. A series of Israeli prime ministers before Netanyahu had refused to build an exit, wary of damaging relations with Palestinians. But the 46-year-old conservative politician had won his first time in 1996 by campaigning to stop the peace process and guarantee that all of Jerusalem would stay under Israeli control. This is a crime, a big crime against our religious and holy places. And it is completely against the peace process. 